Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from everyone's favorite Halo YouTuber. I'm Rehab, your favorite Halo YouTuber, and today we need to talk about Halo Infinite Ranked Matchmaking because it is truly a terrible experience. From the game being unable to match players according to their actual skill, to not being rewarded for winning, being punished heavily for losing, having nothing to play for once you're Onyx, there are a myriad of issues plaguing ranked play that are making it just straight up not fun. So today, I want to go over all the issues with Halo Infinite ranked matchmaking and give some suggestions as to how 343 can improve on the overall ranked experience. So to start things off, the biggest issue with ranked is that the game struggles to match people according to their skill. A prime example of this is last night I was searching with two others who were all between 1600 and 1700 Onyx. We matched against three high Onyx players, two 1800s and a 1900, and the fourth that the game gave them was a gold 5. We won the Slayer 50-42, but the gold player was 2-12 and, and completely costed their team the game. This isn't fun for anyone involved. The three Onyx kids were probably bullying the gold player because they're mad they lost the game they didn't deserve to. The gold player is completely out of their league and not having fun going completely negative. And it's the game's fault for putting this set of players in the same match. This happens literally all the time, just on a lesser scale. Halo Infinite has the biggest player count Halo has seen in six years. There should be no problem constantly putting me into games with seven other players in Onyx 1500 to 1800 range. But instead, there's seemingly always one kid on each team that is supposed to get carried by the rest of the team. I've been on both ends of it as well, where I get put in lobbies of Onyx 2000s and just get absolutely mollywopped. It's not a fun experience. 343 really needs to hone in on their skill matching, or at least offer a prefer skill search option that increases search times, but matches you with more similarly skilled players. The next issue with ranked is the incredibly high risk of playing versus the reward when it comes to your CSR. I've said countless times how I thought the rank system was too easy as I flew straight into Onyx without any setbacks whatsoever. However, once I hit the 1700s, it was like the entire system turned on its head and now it's entirely too hard to rank up no matter how much you win. Yesterday, I was searching solo duo and won my first three games and netted three CSR. Then I lost my next three games and netted negative 33 CSR. So going 3-3, three three, I was down 30 CSR. This system has me laying an egg on stream every single night. I know we're too good now for 1-50, to 50, and now we have the coveted ELO system that gives me 1 CSR because I beat much lower skilled players in the eyes of the system, and when I lose to much lower skilled players, I should be punished heavily. But this system just doesn't work right. Like, if the game thinks it's such a guarantee I win that it only rewards me with one CSR, why would it match me against these players in the first place? And before you go off in the comments telling me the system is based on your stats and that I probably just do poorly, I have had tons of games where I go double positive with the highest score in the lobby and still only get two or three CSR. It's like the game calculates how it thinks you should do in the game and you need to hit the criteria in order to make significant progress up the ranks. Like, yeah, I know you went 20 and 10, but based on our calculations, you should have been at least triple positive. One CSR for you. There is nothing that makes me not want to play Halo Infinite more than having six hours of progress wiped out entirely by two or three straight losses. I mean, look at this guy who won 21 games in a row and netted five CSR. I would honestly rather just 343 implement a static 5 CSR for winning, negative 5 CSR for losing. No more trying to figure out how the rank system works. Just make it completely transparent so everyone knows what they're getting into. Or if they want to keep the current system, I would love to just see what the game projects my performance to be before the game starts so I know what I'm up against. Another point of contention in ranked is the inclusion of Behemoth. In my little echo chamber, all I see is everyone asking for it to be removed, and I'm definitely on that boat. 343 even ran a poll after they got back from Holiday asking what changes we'd like to see in Behemoth and Ranked. But I personally see no saving it, I just want it out. In my opinion, it's just too big to be in the Ranked playlist. I would be okay if it were in a Ranked Team Slayer playlist, the way that Valhalla or Standoff were in Halo 3's Ranked Team Slayer, 
but the current rank playlist in Halo Infinite acts a lot more like the HCS or Team Arena playlist, and Behemoth does not fit in with the rest of the game modes. It's a huge map to have to run the flag across, while you get stuck spawning in the middle of nowhere with little or no cover nearby, while multiple laser beam BRs are shooting at you. Behemoth is closer to a big team map than an arena map, in my opinion. The last thing I want to complain about is something that I don't actually have any suggestions on how to fix. Because 343 just needs to work on their game stability. It's crazy that 8 years after Halo MCC released, I still spawn into 3v4 matches. No, not a match where someone quit out before the match starts. These are matches where the game just didn't give me or the other team a 4th player. If it isn't spawning into a 3v4, it's an AFK on your team until the game boots him, or a teammate quitting, or someone's game crashing on PC leaving you in a 3v4. Luckily, if the game detects someone quitting on your team, you're likely to only lose 1-3 to CSR, which helps lessen the blow. But at the end of the day, we're here to play Halo. I'm not here for free wins or free losses. I want a fair, competitive 4v4 environment. The fact that this is still as widespread as it is shows that this game really could have used another delay. I hope 343 makes it a priority to fine tune the stability of Halo Infinite on Xbox and PC, but mostly PC. Of the thousand games I've played on Xbox, it's only crashed on me twice so far, which is a pretty good track record. And those are my complaints about Halo Infinite ranked play that makes it a terrible experience. I might have missed some things, but those are the issues that really stick out to me. Let me know if I missed anything that comes to your mind down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like as it helps push the video out to a wider audience. And subscribe for more Halo content. I upload every single day, so hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on tomorrow's video. I also stream every day over at twitch.tv slash rehabs for quitters if you want to check me out over there. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.